What's going on, Moody Gang? And welcome back to more of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And I hope you guys enjoying the series, man. Part one did super well. Thank you guys for all the love and support. And without further ado, let's get it. All right, let's get it. All right, recap. Because I did play the game a little bit off camera. So I did upgrade my weapons a little bit. I think I had two i went through these two mysteries by accident i ended up fighting some old viking guy he was telling me a story about the old days and we fought it out i ended up having to fight him to the death i'm gonna throw that up right here that clip for a second but i have a better proposition than a rousing hunt if you are a true drenger a warrior with honor running like sunlight in your veins then you may help me fulfill my destiny you're a long way from any warm hearth, warrior. Is this where you call home? My name is Eric Loyalskull. The great King Ragnar Lothbrok named me such. When we fought tearing up the fields of England, we built families, overthrew kingdoms, sailed mountains, fought for whole seasons. Now, now he is gone. All of Norway laments the passing of King Ragnar. I cannot imagine the sorrow his warriors now feel. We are but six who remain. His most loyal, Drengir. Yet without his guiding light, his strength and vision, we are lost. It was in this cavern that I knew my life was tied to Ragnar's. We were young, hunting a bear, when we chanced upon this spot. He killed it with nothing but a knife. Leapt on its back, held tight, Writhing like a fly on a dragon, he stayed put. And it was done. Peace. Together we celebrated the kill, as if we had felled the beast together. That is when I knew I would live and die for this man. I did not die beside my lord in Ali's pit of snakes. But I can make amends. Fight me, warrior. Send me to meet him in Odin's hall. All right. With great honor, I will fight a true drinker. When you're ready. Very well. For Ragnar Lothbrok, the true king of Norway. For Ragnar, for glory, for the wandering drinker, do I raise my blade. Yo. Jesus. How does he counter with his axe? That's so dope. I need to bring the stamina. Alright, alright. Woo! I don't think that's blockable. Here we go. I'll take that. Oh, shoot. Jesus. You honor me with your skill and ferocity. That is all that matters. Hold on. Give me that. Uh. You are a true drinker. Ragnar would have liked you. Hola. Let's get it. A fitting end to honorable warring. Now I go to see my brother. He who laughed at death. Scourge of all England. Ragnar Lothbrok. Farewell, Dringa. Listen for hoofbeats and follow the Valkyries home. Jeez, confirm the kill. Okay. I was lit. So yeah, I had to go through all of that. 
And here we are. Oh yeah, and how could I forget? I also helped the chick find her comb I'll be the one that was missing it. for a night of see. pleasure it and unspeakable things somewhere. that we ain't gonna talk about. I didn't expect that. I think this is yours. Halt in your search. A winner. And my comb have been found. Now, the price for finding my comb is some of my time. A walk in nature. Maybe more, if that is where our conversation takes us. I see. Lead on. I could do more than comb your hair. Find all your nuts and snags and tame them, if you'd like. <laughs> what y'all think your boy gonna do? <laughs> my shoulders are tense, and my hair is a tangle. I could use a softer touch for these kinks. Then let me. We'll be PG 13. Oh, we got the cheeks. Mmm, delicate touch. Indelicate voice. This was fun, Avar. Hold on to the comb, as a keepsake. Thank you, Beale. You tamed some knots I haven't been able to reach myself. Just gonna throw that out there and <laughs> recap to here we are. So now we're gonna go to, uh, where we at right now? We got, where am I? Oh yeah, we gotta go over here now so we can do this mission. I guess chapter two, Family Matters. All right, I'll see you guys in a minute. Alright. Oh yeah, let me show you the gear real quick. So right after fighting that old guy, I had gotten a spear. I wonder if I could equip it. See we got this spear from fighting the old guy. I'm trying to see if it's stronger than my current weapon. Oh no, 45. Stun 33. Yeah, our axe is still better. So can you hold up? Can we hold the axe in one hand? And the, uh, let's upgrade that right quick. And the spear. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, no. Okay, yeah, it must be equipped in the main hand. All right. Like, what if I had a spear and then I had the axe? Because I ain't with these Captain America vibes. But I'm kind of liking the shield gameplay, though. I ain't going to lie. What is with all of these, uh, triangles on the map, though? Speak to the blacksmith. Which one of these is the blacksmith, though? I'm assuming it's this one over here. The one with the, uh, the big shape. Oh, hold it to chain parkour. Okay, now I know. Yo, yo. Come to keep your blade shop? Yeah. Welcome back. Gonna. I have something here you might like to see. Thunderclap of Thor! Is that your father's axe? I have not seen this beauty since, well, for some time. I forged this weapon long ago. Still looks good. One of my finest, I think. It has a blunted blade, but it swings well. Can you sharpen it? I can give it a better edge and reinforce the handle. And as luck would have it, I have one ingot left for the job. Are you sure? The fates have willed it so. But in future, bring your own metal ingots. I cannot forge them from empty air. Heard you. Oh. Enhancing gear. Bringing the ignits to the settlements forge while allowing it to enhance armor and weapons. Okay. Pretty self explanatory. Enhance that John. And we got a new ruin slot. Yo, enhance it again though. Oh no, it costs us three pieces of silver. Oh yeah, we ain't got none. Well, well nickel. We need the nickel again to do that. Okay. That should do it. Anything else? I was about to say, you're not going to say nothing? Um, let's see how you doing, my boy. How you doing? And how are you, Gunnar? Holding up? 
Yeah, work is good and my spirits are strong, but my nights are newly cold. My lady left me, if you have not heard. I, I had. Sorry to hear it. You were together how long? Uh, five weeks it was. Five beautiful, passionate weeks. But all that is done. Will I never find my Brunhilde? Valkyries do not walk the world as they once did, Gunnar. Maybe set your sights a bit lower. Lower? My friend, look at my wares, my weapons. I'm not a man to settle for less than the finest of anything. Speak your facts, mom. <laughs> I'm crying. All right, let's see. Let me see what you offer. Oh, we can offer to upgrade our gear. How much is going to cost me, though? Oh, wait, so I could do at least... All right. Word. Upgrade the gear. Do you need anything else? Nah, I think that's good. That's for all now. for now. Return any time. Oh, y'all want to see this? Y'all want to see me up in my gear? Y'all want to see the story, right? Let's go speak to Shorty. Okay, the runes in hand, gear pieces allow you to slot stones. I don't even think we have any at the moment, but we'll see. Yo, yo. Yo, I remember in the first episode, I said this was his mom, bro. I feel so dumb. It must be finished now. Mom got bodied. If you have any other business, it may be wise to do it now. Let him cool down. I could speak to Volka first. Get this weight off my mind. The king is not going anywhere. Okay. Who am I talking to now? Let me see where we gotta go to. Okay. All right, yeah, let's go talk to Shorty about the vision. That's the thing. That's what he said he wanted to do. All right, we out. If it's too far, I might just hit you guys with a transition. I ain't gonna hold you. Y'all wanna see me traveling? We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> Your homies, right quick. Yeah, do your thing, do your thing. Hamuram. Hamuram. Balka? Hush. I need silence to hear the songs of nature. Hamuram. Hamuram. Svala. She gives praises and she is greeted. For your hearing, I hearken. O oh, ancient ones, great Odin, great Freya, I give you thanks for your gift of Seder. She gives thanks and she is blessed. Eivor, it has been some time. What brings you so far to see me? I... I have come for your advice. On a private matter. Come. Is your mother well? Her mind is a jumble. She speaks to spirits. I fear her final winter has come. But she has me. Now, let her speak to your needs. I have had a vision. A powerful vision. It may have been my battle lost. Or a delirium caused by the cold, but... Describe it for me. After 17 years, I saw my father's axe again. And when I touched it, the vision came on fast. There was a wolf howling in fears. And then a figure. A grey beard in a cloak with a single eye. He bid me follow him. Ah, the high one. He calls to you. Perhaps he means to speak with you. 
deliver a message. Only through Seder will you see more clearly and unravel the threads that sit tangled upon your mind. This will not take long. Uh... Have you done this before? <laughs> have you used this sort of magic before? I have no fear. It was not my Seder that made her like this. Her condition inspired the elixir. Did it help her? For a time, it opened her up to visions. Strange, unreadable things. Then she returned to her current state. Drink. I don't know if I want to drink that, bro. If you seek true understanding. Here we go. <laughs> See, I should put my boy her quick. You again. What up, shadow figure? Huh? I saw nothing, Balka. Felt nothing. Harvey! Wait. Harvey! I walk among the dead. What the heck? Where'd the horses go? Sigurd. Sigurd, brother, when did you arrive? What the heck? Hey, I'm recording. Oh, really? Do you have to? I'm already in the middle of it. What do you mean, do I have to? Oh, when did you get a phone? Meanwhile, I'll go get some more. Bye. Alrighty. Later. What the heck? What is this? The hell is that? I was about to say left or right. I guess you can only go straight. What is this gate lead, my boy? Hold up. What happened to his hand? Oh my god! Valka, I am here. Gods, I thought I... What was that? 
Tell me everything. I, I, I was on a mountain, in a, in a violent blizzard, climbing toward the summit, following a, a wolf. Mm -hmm. Odin. I don't know. Is that Odin's hall? I saw the gates to Odin's hall of slain champions. They opened for me. Shades of Valhalla, for which you are destined. I saw Odin and the Nornir spinning the threads of fate. They were watching me. Mm, not watching. They were showing you the way forward. Your life, your path, what lies before you, and where it ends. I didn't see Odin. Where was Odin at? And the wolf was eager for my attention, as if it were beckoning me to follow. You are the wolf kissed. Fated to carry its mark for life. In this case, it might represent your ambition or your fear. I do not know what else to say. My, my memories are faint, hazy. Did you reach brother? the summit of this mountain? I did, yes. Sigurd was there, wounded, in pain. His fighting arm was missing. And then the wolf reappeared. The size of a dragon, twisted and terrible. It fixed its eyes on me and struck. Then I awoke. Not about when the it snatched gods him. favor you, Eivor. They always have. You will have your glory, and you will earn your place in Valhalla. But these portents carry a darker truth. The missing arm, the trail of blood, the beast. You will betray your brother, Sigurd. That is the meaning of your vision. That cannot be right. I would never betray Sigurd. He's my brother, my family. The Nordnir have spoken, and this is their message. No, this is wrong. Or you misunderstand. That cannot be right. You will betray Sigurd. Odin fought against his fate. It can be done. Alright, well that took a left. Yo. Man, we gonna No no no. Hold up, we gotta stick with the homie. Word. Stick with our day ones. I guess now we go speak to the king, right? I guess. Uh is that back over here? I'm not gonna lie, some of these side quests and stuff that I do, I probably won't like record with you guys I might play off camera and if it's important enough I might give y'all a recap or I'll record it we'll see how it goes that's how it would always be with the adventure games they be having mad side quests and some of them just be like extra story that's not that important but we'll see I'm about to hit y'all with another transition So, you know, we kind of are a little bit taller. Alright, let's go speak with our king. Yo, yo. They must be finished now. The king has called for his best mead, so the talks are concluded. It should be safe to enter. I'm ready to face the thunder. I will speak with the king now. Excellent, King Stierbjorn. I will take this proposal to my nephew. I believe he will see the wisdom in it. Good. It is all I can hope for. May the... 
If he said father of understanding, guide us, bro. May the winds favor your voyage, Githormer. Nah, bro, I don't like that. Eivor, yep. come forward and explain in plain words why you have willfully disobeyed my commands. Do you mock me? I do not mock you, King. I mean to embolden you against your enemies and your own poor judgment. You know nothing of my judgment. You know nothing of my plans and strategies. Sigurd would agree with me. My son might agree with you, but he would obey me. He knows his place. Not as well as he knows his father. Imagine you are harassed by an enemy with warriors that vastly outnumber your own. What profit does open war bring? Would it not be better to work quietly through diplomacy, gaining alliances? Waiting until the day our numbers outweigh our enemies and our victory is guaranteed. Do we have no allies? <laughs> we can't negotiate with brutes. Your diplomacy is cowardice. Do we have any allies to speak of? Or is that your excuse to do nothing? Your confidence blinds you to so much in plain sight, Eivor. Day and night I toil to forge ties with clans to the north. Very soon you will see the fruits of my efforts. Only then will you understand. Is that all? I'm at a loss with you, Eivor. When I took you in as my own, never did I imagine such disrespect from the child of Varin. Your father was a fine man. Just and loyal to me, he died bravely so that we might live. He died a coward, Lord. A fate I will not mirror. Why do you carry such a useless burden? Let it go! Think only of the days to come, of your future and the victories at hand. My honor has been stained. Until it's wiped clean, I want nothing else. I refuse to pick at that wound again. But if there is something that can chase these shadows from your thoughts... Oh, boy. Sigurd has come! Down at the docks, his ship is here! Now oh, we get to see our brother. That was supposed to be betraying. Where he at, though? Ciao, little girl. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, hey, careful with that one. Hey, boy! See good? <laughs> oh, look at you, blood soaked drinker. Oh, have you been worrying without me? Oh, and you, salt cured by Kinga. I smell the stink of a dozen kingdoms in your beard. It's just a start. <laughs> Randvi, my dear wife, your husband returns. Bringing gifts and riches to share. And new friends, I see. Yes. Basim and Hytham. We met in Miklagat and then showed me her buried secrets. We are grateful to Sigurd for his invitation and eager to pay tribute to your king. My brother is always very careful with the company he keeps. If you're standing safely beside him, he must like you. Ah, Eivor. Save the introductions until our bellies are full. I will see my father. Tell him of my time away. These are assassins, right? This morning we traded with a ship passing south. They told us Eivor the Wolf Kist was captured by Kyrtvis men. They must have cut the tail short. I killed my captors and recovered my crew. And for that, your father scolded me. You know where I stand, brother. Nothing shown of war will dislodge Kjotve from our lands. But he disagrees. I know. I know. Father thinks too much and acts too little. Today that changes. I promise you. By the winter's end, the name Kjotve the Cruel will be a curse on the lips of a drunken fool. 
Oh, unless I got bars? Hold up. <laughs> I want a sword like that, though. I need a gray sword. Yo, yo. My son, welcome home. Uh, father. Tonight, we feast and celebrate your return, Sigurd. The tables are laid with barley and lamb, bread and mead. And no more, I beg you. I want nothing you would not serve a thrall. Let me be the one to honor you. I bring gifts and tales from faraway lands. After two winters away, I am full up with both. Very well, very well. Come inside. And when we are fat and satisfied, father, we will talk of Kyrtle and his clan, and how we may end their terror once and for all. He has dogged us too long, shamed us for too many seasons. I know this. Eivor knows this. It ends now. Yes, of course, when the time is right. <laughs> Through Rusland, we barrel down the Volga River. Raiding as we went, shadowy tribes hurling spears at our ship. At Miklagard, we saw men bedecked in riches as vibrant as the Biverest itself. And these we took for our troubles, of course. We sailed to Rome, then Africa, past oceans of sand, warriors of all colors, and beauty the eyes must weep to behold. And now I have returned. With riches and glory to share with my family, my friends, my eyes for Strengir. So take what you desire from my horn. For this, this is only a taste of things to come. Tomorrow, the Raven Clan starts anew. Skull, Sigurd. Skull! And you, Eivor, come. I have something special for you. Oh, I guess we're getting up. Last time we was in a hall like this, it didn't end too well, bro. Hold up. Oh, I thought I could steal some food right quick. Look at the assassins. You are Basim. You have a good memory. And you have no meat. Can I fix that? Sigurd spoke often of you on our journey. Called you his right arm. A celebrated warrior. I am honored to meet you. Likewise, Basim. And how did you come to meet my brother? He sat down in Constantinople some months ago to rest and resupply, he told me. But I knew otherwise. Men with eyes that gleam like his are always up to something more. I think he wished to raid the Hagia Sophia. That sounds right. I will not bore you with the details of our meeting. But I liked your brother from the first. I saw something in him that captivated me. As if a forgotten memory of an old friendship had suddenly resurfaced. He has that effect on people. Enjoy your evening, cousin. All right. Let's go check on what Big Bro wants. I thought long and hard on a gift worthy of you. You have snared my curiosity, brother. What is Not it? yet. Drinks first. <laughs> my first night in Thornburg in over two winters. It must end with me soaked and wall-eyed, shouting at the shadows of trolls. And you want me to sail with you and these? Yes. You are stuck Anyways. with me, Dringu. Now drink. to shame <laughs> from drinking to breathing you turn everything into a competition brother I must always be prepared <laughs> true enough it's good to have you back Sigurd. yes 
I've missed this terribly. When I first met Basin, I regaled him with tales of our homeland. And it was then I felt a hard longing to return at once. <laughs> Come. How the assassins look nice sus? This brings us to your gift. These excellent men were my shepherds through much of their homeland, the Abbasid Caliphate. They are a clan not joined by blood, but by a common idea. A brotherhood of shadows executing their own form of justice. In my time with them, they shared many of their most hidden secrets, for which I am grateful. And now... I gift one of these secrets to you. A hidden blade. For the finest warrior I know. <laughs> A thing of beauty. It looks harmless. Beautiful craftsmanship. What kind of smith makes a weapon like this? It is less a weapon than a tool. One we have used for centuries to fight injustice and evil. Mentor, I must protest. This is deeply unorthodox. Our wrist blade is a sacred Do tool. Do not make a fetish out of cold metal. What I found. What matters is the mind of the one who wields. Please, try it on. The blade should ride on the underside of your arm to conceal it from your target. I have no wish to hide this, and I would rather not make the same mistake you two have. <laughs> I like it. This is no mistake. This is a voluntary sacrifice to prove our devotion to... A good start, Eivor. But you must learn how to use it effectively. Outside. This is not some... Lead on. Hey, we got our first hit in blade. <laughs> this clan of yours it has a name? Indeed. But among the tenants of our creed is a vow to never reveal too much to outsiders. In time, you may learn more, but not here where the walls and trees may have ears. I look forward to it. Here, let me lead you through our most basic techniques. Oh, shoot. Wielded with skill and care, our blade delivers a singular killing blow. As you near your target, find your window to strike. Timing is essential. Oh, undetected. Oh, we learning how to assassinate mofos. Excellent. I have not seen a blade so sharp. Some targets are trickier than others. Keep that in mind before you strike. Oh, so... Oh, someone that's stronger than us, okay. A decent attempt. Sound like my boy's a hater, bro. Take that one down from the ledge. Alright, bet. Oh, wait. From the ledge, boy, from the ledge. A perfect strike. Yeah, you hear that? Heim then, whatever his name How is. How about a challenge? Leap down upon that target from above. Say less. Air assassinations. Hold up. Exactly, just like that. Use your surroundings when possible. Strike from that haystack, for instance. See, I already got you, my boy. Look That's at that. It. Come here. Mentor, does Eivor intend to join us? Not that I am aware. Then why offer him the blade? Surely we have more... Python. Hush. You wield the blade well. Let us leave Eivor to enjoy his gift in peace. Come. Eivor, let us walk to the docks and take in the night air. 
Yeah, them assassins are moving What do you funny, make of yo. my new friends? They seem generous and menacing in equal measure. I know what you mean. And they have learning, too. They wield numbers and writing as if it were magic. Basim has shown me so much about the world. All of which I will share with you when the time is right. Oh, I miss the smell of this land. Have you returned for good? Or do you mean to join this Shadow Brotherhood? Leave all that aside, Ivor. Tonight we are family again. The here and now is what matters. Our kinship. Our clan. Our glory. I missed you, brother. Your clear head and your courage. We have not had enough of both in recent months. <laughs> you flatter me, Wolfkist. Keep it up. <laughs> From here to Valhalla, I will always be on your side, Sigurd. Always. This fjord has grown too small to contain me, or I too large. There is so much more beyond these stony fangs that rise around us. England, Ireland, Francia, all greener pastures, ripe for the plucking. Tomorrow, we make new war on Goethe. ...and reclaim the lands he took from us. And from there... ...we build a kingdom... ...for us. I'm with you. Only say the word. Good. Get some rest... ...and return here at first light. <laughs> 